Welcome everybody to Sling IT, a real-world team building activity. A group of colleagues from work will build a Sling 40 SI airplane. Join us for the adventure. The weekend of November 23rd and 24th, or day 5 and 6 of the build was a bit special. A few days before, my other kits for the build were delivered. The wings, the fuselage, the finishing and the undercarriage kit. For a Dutch-speaking person, the word breekbaar on the box is easily understandable. South African and Dutch have a lot of similarities. On the other hand, the picture and the word fragile should have ring a bell with the shipping company. Not. The driver actually found out what center of gravity meant when he pushed one of the kids halfway over the loading dock of his truck. It is a 5 foot drop to the ground. Almost all boxes sustained some damage, so I called Jean from the airplane factory on what to do. He told me to take pictures, write on the delivery slip that there was damage, and check the content as quickly as possible for damage to the parts. So, day 5 and part of day 6 is actually unboxing and checking for a damage day. Not that I would have had another option as the garage was unusable as we had to put the boxes in without warning. The driver of the shipping company called me at work to say he was standing at my house to deliver. Anyway, the boxes came out bigger than expected, so we will have to store some parts in the living room. We started with the undercarriage kit, the only box without real visible damage, which contains things like the rims, the tubes, the tires and the engine mount. I was quite happy as there was no damage and only one item was missing, which was on the packing list, but not in the box. Next, we started with the finishing kit, which contains a bit of everything. A lot of composite parts, the canopy, the doors and the windows. And a lot of hardware to attach the different control surfaces. The wing kit, we could only finish half on Saturday. So we continued with that one on Sunday. That same Sunday morning, two new people joined the group, Piet and Bart. The builder's team for today. <laughs> builder's team, Sunday, November 24th. Piet, Bart, Sarania. <laughs> <laughs> After the wing kit, we tackled the last kit, which is the fuselage kit. During this job, another new builder joined the club, Leonard. So, we have Leonard, Hello. helping out, so... Helping out, yeah. I thought it was going to be half finished when I arrived, but it seems like there's still a lot to do, so... Oh, to I was not recording. Oh, Sorry. that's good. <laughs> <laughs> By noon, we finished checking everything. To our surprise, there were quite some parts, more than 75 in total, that were missing in the kits or back ordered. So I will have to see with the factory how and by when these missing parts will get here. So uh, we checked all the boxes and now we are continuing with the horizontal stabilizer and Leonard will be pulling his first rivet. Yes. But we first need to drill. We first finished the horizontal stabilizer. Afterwards, we continued working on the elevator. When the ribs of the elevator were already riveted, we discovered that we actually forgot to dimple the two ribs on the outside. Yeah, th this is what happens when Steve forgets to dimple. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, it was easy to fix, but a bit unhandy. Yes, yes, Abby. Let's call it a day.